and welcome to another video for Motorhome Retrofits. So yesterday, Richard and I were working on this T5.1 transporter that's been converted by into a Bilbo camper or by Bilbo. Now it's an unusual one because of the high top that you can see over my left shoulder, but it just means that you can stand in there without the pop top roof and you can stand in there and have no problems in moving around and you know, use your camping life. Now it's coming to us for quite a few mods. We've done the Alpine, Halo 9, which is the new breed of floating dash, nine inch display. Hasn't got nav built in, but it has got wireless Apple CarPlay and some other cool, really really nice features, um, which we can run, a, run through inside. Uh, it's Friday and I can't even get my words out. So also we've done a really nice barn door wedge camera on the back which has proven quite tricky because this particular one has had to be fitted and run down and along the bottom of the vehicle, which is, which is really time con um, uh, consuming for us as well. Um, we've also taken the two front door cards off here. We've done sound deadening, which is our stage one sound deadening. And then we fitted Audison uh, component speakers. So you've got your main six and a half inch driver in the door and on the dashboard up on here, you've got the Audison tweeter. Now, once you then put all that together with the addition of the class D amplifier that's built into the Alpines, you've got a really nice, clean, round sounding, um, rounded sound in there. And it makes a massive difference because all of these transporters are really flat in their sound. And whether you've got a coach built motorhome, a sliding door conversion, or just a van, here at Motorhome Retrofits, we do all sorts to offer you the best we can do in terms of audio sound experience for your money. So do get in touch with us because we can help, we can listen to what you need and then give you some, um, give you some good advice. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump in the van and show you it all working. So obviously we're in the van, this is all finished, everything's been put back together, and this is the Halo 9. It's called the ILX F905D. It's one of the three new breed of Alpines. We haven't done too many on the motorhome channel, but we've done loads on our other sister channel, Advanced In Car Technologies. That's where the big following is, but have a look at that channel as well. Now the Halo 9 is really, really cool. If you don't know much about it, I'll run through some basics. It's got the 720p screen, which basically means it's HD. It's really good resolution for an in-dash um, automotive system. You've got wireless Apple CarPlay, wired Apple CarPlay, wired Android Auto. You've then also got dual USB capability, one for charging, one for USB, and one for um, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. There are so many features like the Class D amplifier. It just means that now, because what we've done in here is we've done our stage one sound deadening, which Matt will show you up on the screen now. We've also then put our Audison component speakers and then up on the dashboard, which is gonna appear now, uh, are the component tweeters. So those tweeters then talk to the speakers in the door to give you that full sound. And then with this, running or pumping the sound out, you're gonna get some, uh, you're gonna hear instruments you didn't hear before, you're gonna get some warmth, some depth, some clarity, which is you seriously lacking in a transporter. Now, this van is, apart from that, not really got much going on um, in terms of steering wheel um, and other bits and pieces, but these, these, these customers are local, and this is stage one of this project. So the most important thing for us was to give it a decent infotainment system, or they, as they call it now, a digital media station, and give much, much better sound. So if I put the key in the ignition and just switch it on like so, the, um, this new breed of Alpine just seems to be really, really, really popular. It's flying off the shelf. 
because of the fact that it is just feature rich. Now, if I put the van into reverse, we'll show you the camera. And then just before we finish off, we'll show you what we've done at the back. So we pop it into reverse like so, camera comes up and you've got a really nice clean image of what's going on behind you. Now, because they've got a big step here, the factory parking sensors are picking up on the step. You probably can't hear it because we overlay with music, but you can see here that you've got a really nice clean image and up on the display here, you've got your parking sensor overlay. So if this particular vehicle had front parking sensors with the button on the dash, you could then easily mute them or turn them off. But you've got other features and functions. So you've got your Bluetooth, you've got your USB, you've got your Bluetooth streaming, um, FM DAB, um, video playback as well. Um, and if you wanted to, you can adjust the screen. You've got a storage pocket, which is quite handy for pens and sunglasses and whatnot. So this is uh, a Bilbo conversion. It's a T5.1 transporter coming to us with a pretty standard radio. We've now um, put our touch on it. And this is what we do here. We do it well, we do it carefully. We're really well regarded online. So if you want something like this, then come and see us. But what we're gonna do is just quickly jump out and show you what we've done at the back end because it's not straightforward. Again, it's bespoke work. So come and join me at the back. Okay, so as before, I said to you, this is a barn door. So again, not everybody knows what that means. Standard doors that open out like you would if you had a barn, I guess. Um, the other van that you get on a transporter is the tailgate, which is the up and over door. This is a little bit more difficult because if you had a factory fitted camera from Volkswagen, they would fit it right in the middle of the grab bar, which already means that you're off center. So with these grab bars, what we do is we take apart the left-hand side door, take all the lock mechanism out, and we take the grab bar off and we fit one of our matte black cameras. It's a whole saw fitment, so you can fit it up inside, we use hot glue, seal it all in, run the cabling back along, in through the door. And then what I do, is Matt will show you a close up of this camera anyway, because it does look really, really in keeping with the van. So if I just open the door here, it's quite a fiddly job to do. And that's the reason why people come to us, because this is what we do all day, every day. Once we've taken all this off, and we've brought the cabling in down through, it has to come through the grommet, then it has to come in through the light unit, and then we go down with a good old fashioned metal coat hanger. We go down underneath the van and we put split copex, which is plastic tubing to protect it. And it's been run all the way to the front. It's a dirty time consuming job, but it's done, it's safe, and it's never gonna be a problem. So that is it. That is what we call uh, an aftermarket wedge reversing camera for um, the matte black grab bars. If you've got a vehicle like this and you want anything that we've done on this van in the last couple of days, from the Alpine to the audio, the sound deadening, the camera, security, multifunction, steering wheel, whatever, please get in touch with us. The website is www.motorhomeretrofits.co.uk. Um, I'm James, I do most of the videos, but please put your comments below if there's anything that we don't do that you wanna see. Don't forget to like us on socials, Follow us on and subscribe on Instagram and also YouTube and check out our sister channel, Advanced In Car. And thanks for watching.